Okay, here's a tutorial on how to do a uh, white noise filter sweep riser that you hear so often in pop music and dance music today. First things, uh, right click on your mixer and say create, and we're going to use the subtractor analog synthesizer. Initialize the instrument so we can make our own sound design. And what we're going to focus on here is this noise section. We're going to use this white noise to get that riser effect. So turn on the noise, huh? and over here on the mix, you want to turn that all the way to the right. That will just focus on this oscillator section and leave this one out, and you get this effect. I just went and grabbed the filter frequency knob and got it to make that sound, and we're going to program that along with the resonance to get the effect here. Start by right-clicking on your subtractor and create, and we'll just use the little line mixer in this example here. Flip your rack around and take the outputs of the subtractor, put it to the inputs one of the line mixer, and then make sure the line mixer master out is going back into the session mixer. So this is all set up right. So I'm going to right-click on the line mixer here and say create, and go for the RV7000 reverb. Flip my rack around and you can see that it gets automatically cabled correctly. All you have to do to get reverb to your sound then is just turn up AUGS1, where the subtractor is, and you've got reverb. So the next thing to do then is to combine these three elements together into a combinator. The way you do that is by selecting each item making sure there's a blue box around it, holding shift, and selecting the mixer and the reverb. Once you got everything in these blue boxes, right click somewhere and say, combine. I'm gonna be able to program these rotary knobs and buttons to do some automation uh, with my filter and my resonance and my reverb wet dry amount. I mean, so to do that, you have to show the programming options by ticking on that button that opens and closes the programmer and notice that there's a subtractor lane a line mixer and the rv7000 i want to be on this subtractor for starters here i'm going to program this rotary button to control both the filter frequency and the resonance it's important to note to pull both of these down to zero right now to get this effect to work right so rotary button one is here. My first target is going to be the filter frequency. So you go to the drop down list and find filter frequency. And notice that there's a zero to 127 minimum maximum. That's referring to where the slider is. You can see zero to 127. So when I turn rotary one now, it's controlling this frequency slider. What I want to do is have the resonance go opposite of the frequency. So I'm going to change my source to rotary one. So it's going to still be this button. I'm going to change this target now to filter resonance. And I'm going to flip flop these. Instead of zero to 127, I want it exactly opposite. So I'm just going to hold in here and drag this up to 127 and then pull this one down to zero. Now my rotary one knob will move those sliders in opposite directions, giving you this effect. Classic. Okay, so the last bit that I did want to do is have the reverb change from dry to wet. I'm going to change my reverb setting first and get into a little bigger room. That'll work. I'm going to select the RV7000 and go over here into the modulation section and say, I'm going to go to the target section here, and I want that to control the dry wet amount. Once again, it's a zero to 127, and I'm going to leave that just like that. So when I move this rotary one knob, you can see it's changing the reverb from dry to wet. That's the effect I want. Right now I can save this combinator patch as my own white noise riser by just going to the floppy disk here and call it
I'll just leave it on my desktop. 